So, continuing the review of the 30th Juz, I want to mention that from Sultan Mursalat till Sultan in so these, those, these surahs, they give a very strong imagery of what will happen in the Day of Judgment. And so right now we are in Sutul in Fitar. And uh, in Sutul in Fitar, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala again says, وَإِذَا السَّمَاءُ فطرت. And when the sky is blown open, right? Again, everything is different from how we normally understand the normal situation to be. وَإِذَا الْكَوَاكِبُ انْتَثَرَتْ Over there with the word Najum, Najam means star, but it means the, the, you know, the light, the twinkle of the star. Kawakib is how big the stars are. So also the Qur'an talks about stars as something big, like our sun is something big. And we know that stars are like suns. وَإِذَا الْكَوَاكِبُ انْتَثَرَتْ وَإِذَا الْبِحَارُ الْفُجِّرَتْ Again, and when the seas, they are become rebellious, right? When they when they come out. In the other surah it said, in when the seas are ignited, right? what I really did and what I left. مَقَدَّمْتُ What I put forward and what I left, he will come to know. The next ayah is almost as, you know, hasra, hasra, regret. Not from man, but from Allah about man. The most, you can say, regretful feeling when, you, when, you, when you're listening to the tarannum, the, the voice of Qur'an, the most regretful feeling, you can say, even though this word regret is not appropriate for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but I have no other ways to describe the feeling, the most regret Allah expresses about men is in Sufil Yaseen. Ya hasratan ala al-ibad. That type of, you, anybody who knows Arabic can feel. Ya hasratan ala al-ibad. Ma ya'tihim min rasulin illa kanu bihi yastahfiun. What, you know, what a loss for man. Every time a messenger came, they made fun of him. And then again in Sufil Yaseen, again Allah says, the same hasra about his ayat. وَمَا تَعْتِيهِمْ مِنْ آيَاتٍ مِنْ آيَاتٍ إِلَّا كَانُوا عَنْهَا مُعْرِدُونَ The next one is, you can say, in the whole of Qur'an, this one, about the regret of the attitude of man. يَا أَيُّهَا الْإِنسَانِ Now, insan, one of, you know, there are many words for insan. There's bashar, there's nas, there's insan. But insan means the one who forgets. One of the meanings is the one who forgets. So this is kind of related to the meaning of the ayat. يَا أَيُّهَا الْإِنسَانِ Oh man. مَا غَرَّكَ بِرَبِّكَ الْكَرِيمُ What has caused you to deviate from your Lord who is so generous to you? You know, this hasra, like Allah is saying, is, is, has hasra for man in this. يَا يَا يُهَا النَّاسِ مَا غَرَّكَ بِرَبِّكَ الْكَرِيمُ أَلَّذِي خَلَقَ فَسَوَّاكَ فَعَذَلَ He is the one who's created you, he's the one who fashioned you, gave you the sensibilities that you have. بِأَيِّ سُورَةٍ مَا شَاءَ رَكَّبَ he put you in any shape. He gave you a unique shape that he wanted to give you. But no, the truth is, you're just rebellious. You want to just deny meeting me on the day of judgment. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continues uh, at the, the last ayah of the surah. That day, no soul will have any authority over any other. You're on your own. Everyone is yatim on the Day of Judgment. Everyone is a yatim on the Day of Judgment. Everyone's an orphan on the Day of Judgment. tamliku nafsun li nafsin shay'a wal amru yawma idhin lillah. And on that day, you don't even like, here you have a choice. I want this coffee or this coffee. You don't have even that type of choice. Everything will be decided for you on that day. Next surah, Mutaffifin. This is a very, very interesting surah. And Allah says, وَيْلُ لِلْمُطَفِّفِينَ Destruction for those who cheat in their business. 
And it's, the next ayah is so interesting, psychologically speaking especially, because it says, الَّذِينَ إِذَا اكْتَالُوا عَلَى النَّاسِ يَسْتَوْفُونَ وَإِذَا كَالُوهُمْ أَوْ وَزَنُوهُمْ يُخْسِرُونَ When they seek, way, when, when they do something for someone in business, they want the full wage. Meaning what? They know what it means to be fair. They know what it means to be just. And when they have to pay, like you know what Donald Trump said? If someone does an okay job, like I have a contract, and they fulfilled the contract, they did an okay job, I'll pay 75% of what I owe them. This is Donald Trump on record saying this. So when you owe somebody, يخسرون, then you don't give full payment, you give, because they have to come back to you to work anyway, so you give them partial payment. So anyway, الَّذِينَ إِذَا اقْتَالُوا عَلَى النَّاسِ يَسْتَوْفُونَ وَإِذَا كَالُوهُمْ أَوْ وَزَنُوهُمْ يُخْسِرُونَ أَلَا يَظُنُّ أُولَٰئِكَ أَنَّهُمْ مَبْعُثُونَ Do these people not think that they're going to be raised for another day? Over here the word deen has a different meaning by the way, in this surah. Deen also means dain. Dain means debt. When you have a debt, it's a balance that remains, right? So the last ayah of this surah, فَالْيَوْمَ الَّذِي so, so one, uh, Dain means debt, just keep this in mind. So you have to pay your debt, right, basically. And when you are t giving, taking full wage for your work, but giving less for someone else's work, you know that you're cheating. That's the whole point. Psychologically, you know you're cheating. Because when you do the work, you're taking full wage. But for someone else, you're, you're taking away their wages. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about j the Day of Judgment in a new way, in a new fashion. Instead of talking about the scenery, Allah is talking about the register. <laughs> the fujjar, the people that have rebelled, they have a, there's a register that's with Allah. There's a register with Allah with everyone's name on it. Right? One of the great things about the modern world is, you know, in the olden days, somebody might have thought, how can Allah know everything about everyone? And now we have, you know, computers that have everything, like so much data in it, so much data, like... The idea that there's a register with everyone's name is not an impossibility in our world today. But in the time of the Prophet, it would have seemed like an impossibility. Like, how can you have a register with everyone's name? So one of the effects of the, uh, of the, of the man's growth is that we are actually learning more about how Allah is capable of doing things. Even like a phone call, even looking at TV, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can... If we can do that, then Allah can do more. Anyway... And then in opposite to that, And the people that are abrar, who are abrar, who are, na, who are who, by their nature they do good. They do nat naturally they're doing good. Their first incl inclination is something good. They don't have to fight against themselves. Their first inclination is something good. So they are in the illiyin. They are in another register. And sijin, by the way, sijin means prison. Sijin, when it's said this way, it means a horrible prison. It's, it, the register itself is called the people of the horrible prison. And then you're going to be put in the prison. So the Jahannam, in a sense, the hellfire, is a horrible prison. By the way, one of the meanings of the word Jahannam,
Ya yuhannas, over there was Ya yuhannas, ma gharraka bi rabbika al-kareem. Over here is Ya yuhannas, inna kadihun ila rabbika kadhan fa mulaqih. Oh mankind, you are in this world just toiling. But the reality is you're just getting closer and closer to Allah. You're lost in your concerns of your struggle of this world. But the reality is you're just coming closer and closer to Allah. Ya yuhan nas inna ka kadihun ila rabbika kadhan fa mulaqi. And then the scene here is not the register, not the day of judgment, but who's given the book on the right hand. And sometimes the book is given on the left hand. And sometimes the book is given behind your back. Okay, the people that is given on the right hand, we know who they are. If it's given on the left, we know who they are. The people that's given behind their back are either the people that rejected the truth or munafiqeen. Uh, Ibn Hazm rahmatullah uh, one of the great scholars of Islam from Spain, he has made this distinction. Kitab Zahri, those people that are given the book behind their backs, they will be the munafiqun is what he says. Allahu alam. But it is interesting this, uh, this, uh, this kind of like picture of the right hand, the left hand, and the people behind their backs. So Allah says, فَأَمَّا مَنْ أُوْتِيَ كِتَابَهُ وَرَاءَ ذَهْرِي فَسَوْفَ يَدْعُوْ ثُبُورًا وَيَسْنَى سَعِيرًا And then it continues. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says something very interesting I'd like to share with you. Uh, this is going to take a minute to explain. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَلَا أُقْسِمُ بِالشَّفَقِ وَاللَّيْلِ وَمَا وَسَقْ وَالْقَمَرِ إِذَا تَصَقْ Actually, you know what? I'm not going to explain this because it's going to take too much time. But... Uh, We'll inshallah continue on to the next surah, which is very interesting, Surah Al-Buruj. Now from here, up till Surah Al-Inshiqaq, it's all about the Day of Judgment. From Surah Al-Mursalat to Inshiqaq, it's the different scenes, the different aspects, sometimes talking about the angels, sometimes talking about your register, sometimes talking outside, sometimes your own state of mind, how it will be. So from Surah Al-Inshiqaq, uh, sorry, Surah Al-Mursalat to Inshiqaq, you have this. Now, Surah Al-Buruj, the topic changes to the criminals, who are the criminals, and who are the believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.